The 34-strong provisional squad enters residential camp on Sunday with players from 11 different top-flight clubs eager to make the final grade before the Chan finals get underway in April. Notable exclusions from the squad are midfielders Gift Ali and David Bagole. But there is a place in the squad for KCC captain and goalkeeper Charles Lukwago, who suffered a freak injury during a recent league game against Express. The team will hold training sessions at James Cambridge School in Butavika. Crane's coach, Johnny McKinstry, believes the conditions at the school mirror those in Douala, Cameroon, where Uganda will be based for the Chan tournament. And plans are in place for us to train at the Cambridge International School over Luzira direction of town, which we feel will give us a very good um, home for the next month. They have a good quality grass field that will be similar to what we have in Cameroon, but they also have floodlight facilities because, as you may be aware, all of the games in Cameroon are in the evening, 8 p.m. at night. So we'll also look to train in the evening sometimes to prepare the players for that. McInstry says the training camp will not impact on the Uganda Premier League title run-in. The one-month camp will see players released back to their clubs for league fixtures. Obviously, the UPL is still ongoing until the 7th of March. The agreement was reached with the UPL board that we would start training camp and that for those individual days, players would be released back to their clubs. A tri-nation tournament involving Uganda, Zambia and Mali has been organized to fine-tune the players ahead of the Chan tournament. This is in line with trying to diversify training to suit group opponents from West Africa, North Africa and East Africa. Uganda has been pulled alongside Morocco, Rwanda and Togo for the forthcoming finals. McInstry hopes all this will help him zoom in on the final 23-man squad. We've had both the Zambian Federation and the Football Federation of Mali have accepted our invitations. So we feel in Zambia and Mali in a triangular tournament, we will get good preparation in terms of the competitive nature towards the back end of the camp. This is a very diverse group. Three very different footballing styles. You know, it's not like we can expect any one game to be the same in terms of our opponents. And so because of that, the training program, we're going to try and make it reasonably diverse. The squad for the AFCON qualification doubleheader against South Sudan will be announced next week. And McKinstry believes it will include a negligible number of Chan players. Felix Manindo, NTV Sports.